Hello everybody, this is Samir Tafish welcoming you back in our series of, uh, of presentation regarding power line communication. Uh, today we are, will be discussing about uh, serial communication, addressable serial communication uh, over power line. We will be presenting a full operational system uh, based on one master and two slaves. Uh, the slaves are addressable by means uh, we can uh, send specific requests to a specific slave to execute a command. In our presentation today also we'll be talking about the power line modem, how we build it. It's based on TDA 5051 IC from NPX. Uh, we uh, built it the uh, according to the data sheet from NPX. Also, we'll be presenting the uh, connection setup, how we have one master managing and we have other two slaves uh, receiving data. Then we'll be showing the code behind the communication and the modems will be uh, communicating with Arduinos uh, uh, as controllers. We have one Arduino Mega acting as master. Why I choose Mega for master? Uh, I choose Mega uh, because it has multiple uh, hardware serial devices for and I need another serial, uh, serial uh, connection for debugging. So we can see on the screen to gather the results. And also we have as slaves two Arduino Mini, Mini Pro connected uh, to, the, to as slaves. We'll be sending uh, messages and or comments to uh, turn on a LED and turn off LED on specific device. Uh, on the screen now we can see the modem, how we build it. It's, uh, it's built on the IC using the IC uh, TDA5051 uh, from NPX. Uh, we build it according to the data sheet provided by NPX. Uh, the main component, uh, component is the IC by itself. It's a modem uh, IC. And uh, the other we have uh, oscillator to shift uh, the hertz or the cycles uh, on the power line since the power line uh, since the power line is holding uh, current on 50 cycle or uh, 60 cycle depending on the location uh, this associator uh, will help to manage to communicate over uh, 120 kilohertz And the other components are filters to eliminate the 50 Hz or 60 Hz or the smaller frequencies on the power lines. Now it's a schematic provided by uh, the NPX datasheet. And uh, down we can see the uh, PCB board related to this schematic. I will be showing you on freezing. The board this is a schematic I've, I've, I've designed on uh, Fritzing to accommodate the modems I printed, I printed them out. As we can see, we have the main component is the modem, IC modem, the oscillator on the left down, and the others are filters 
signal filters Now we'll be demonstrating our setup. Our setup is the following. We have over here the main power coming from here. And the main power is connected to each modem. This is where the data will uh, will be transmit uh, will be transmitted. We can see it as a bus the serial bus over power line also we have three modems identical modems the modem can be used identical we don't have a modem master or a modem slave the modem is identical all of them the same these modems are connected to the power 5 volt of the slave here positive and negative also we have here the second two wires are the transmit and receive for digital data connected to transmit and receive on the controller on the slave side what we have additional we connected a LED just to send comment to this uh, device, to this uh, slave. We have one, one LED here on uh, slave number two, and here we have one LED on slave number three. So our setup is master, slave number two, slave number three. For the master, here we have Arduino Mega, as we, as we explained earlier. I'm using Mega because I have multiple serial uh, buses, so I can debugging, for debugging only. Uh, here we have a slave uh, Mini Pro, Arduino Mini Pro, two of them are Mini Pro. We can use any any controller we are not bound by uh, arduino or uh, or anything it's a simple communication addressable communication for devices so anything that can be con uh, is uh, programmable any controller we can communicate with this with it over serial The code is built on uh, radio head uh, communication, serial communication. Uh, it's a secure uh, communication. It sends uh, address addresses, send the address of the client or the slave, and uh, it send the, uh, we send then the connection, uh, the comments we want. It's a very simple and just we need uh, to define the master address and within our code we receive uh, from the serial command from the serial command here the uh, serial monitor will be receiving the commands to be sent to the slave and then the slave will be replying or acknowledging back his request. A live demo now. This is the serial monitor on the master. If I want to send for uh, slave number two the command to turn on the LED, I just say slave number two and on for the time. As we can see, the LED over here is turned on. We turn it off, we say 2 off, because 2 is the address and the command is off. We've seen that 
the LED is off now. If, I'm going, if I want to send to another slave, for example, slave number three, we have three on. We've seen that slave number three now, LED is on. And we want to turn on also the uh, LED on slave number two. Now both LEDs are on. We can create any scenario we want to send messages so every slave will understand what he will, our request and execute accordingly. As for Arduino, we can add many uh, slaves, uh, many slaves or uh, many controlled devices or sensors so we can read, we can ask the slave to read uh, the sensor data and we send it back or we can ask him to uh, execute the command on a relay to turn on a light or turn off a light or do anything uh, why we use uh, P a PLC communication PLC communication does not replace the Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi does not replace the uh, PLC communication. Wireless communication is well used and used everywhere. Easier for setup. No need to uh, make wiring or anything. But for in some scenarios, we need uh, to. We don't have coverage of wireless or Wi-Fi uh, in our homes or in uh, our garage which is a bit far from our home so there is no coverage and we don't want to uh, install new electrical wires so we'll be using the current uh, wires existing at home without modifying anything and uh, we send the data through these wires the modem by itself is a uh, as the name is modem receives digital data serial data and will transfer it as analog signals over the power line and the second modem will receive this analog signal and will uh, decode it, the signal and transfer it back to digital data These, the communication is open as we discussed and as we said uh, we can the limit is our imagination in fact and uh, it's easy to install uh, we are uh, working on reducing the size of the modem to fit into the wall outlet and we'll be uh, providing uh, support and help on these modems and on the protocols used to communicate. Thank you today for uh, watching with us this small demonstration about the power line modem communication and hope to see you next in our future presentations. For any comments or anything, uh, my email is uh, uh, on the presentation uh, uh, presented and it will be in the link on uh, on YouTube thank you